Hi guys, Black here. I didn't want to wait until I got home. I decided to um, go ahead and make the video now. I got a call from McDonald yesterday and some kind of way the lady said I had filled out the wrong address. I ended up, the lady from Forsyth, George, I mean Forsyth Street in downtown Atlanta called me. I can't remember the last time I went to that McDonald's. I mean, it's been probably 20 some years since I've been there. But anyway, um, she got me the address. She sent the to the right McDonald's. Okay, so I got two phone calls, one from, I think, the general manager and then one from some other manager. Anyway, <clears throat> they apologized for the smell and the first lady called me, I think she said she was a general manager, okay. I asked her, had she been in the store? Did she work in the store? And she told me that she hadn't been there in maybe a week or so. And, and I'm like, there's no way this woman could have went into that store and not noticed the smell of the drink machine. I, the manager called me a few hours later and she apologized to me. And she asked me questions about the guy who pushed in a trash can without washing his hands. She asked me, you know, did I remember his name? I told her no, but I described him. I was like, this can't be too many short black guys with, uh, like I said, it's like a, I don't know, it's like a, it's not a net. It was like a fabric type cover over his head that covered up his afro or whatever. I mean, there's not too many short, dark-skinned black guys that work there that's wearing something like that, you know? Anywho, that takes out trash. <clears throat> Any case, she swore up and down that they was going to take care of this problem, and she wanted me to come back in and get a free quarter pound of cheese frying a drink. I told her I'd give him a week to clean the place up. I'm still thinking about calling the health department. Because I'm going to tell you something, and it's so unfortunate, it's like this. I don't want to say the color, but people on certain sides of town, it's like they don't care. They will put up with dirt as long as they get food. And it's like, I care. I guess it's because I go to different parts of town. I eat in nice restaurants. And I'm used to having good service, you know. It's like, I know some people who live in certain parts of town. Let's just say, on my side of town, I know people who hate to leave that side of town. They would rather pay more money, get crappy service, than go to a different part of town. You know, it's like, they are afraid to leave the inner city. There are people like that. You know, I had a friend... I mean, like, I drove 58 miles to buy my F-150, and I saved about $2,200 in the process. But there are certain people who just don't want to leave the hood. they rather get crappy service, crappy food, because they don't want to leave the hood. I don't, is they afraid of leaving the hood, or are they just not comfortable outside the hood? But I'm not. I mean, I'm my job is 40 miles from my house. And there are people, again, in my hood that thinks I'm crazy for driving 40 miles. You know, that, that, that just crazy. It's too many miles. Well, I go where the money is. But anyway, I didn't mean to make a long video because I'm uploading this thing with my hotspot. So I don't want a long video. But anyway, this is Dre. Hope y'all enjoyed it. Bye.